Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. What is his expectation? What is in the mind of God? Because the Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit can search the mind of God and make known unto us the accurate intentions and counsel of God. Psalm 119 The entrance of thy words giveth light and it giveth understanding to the simple. He said the entrance. Can we have other versions? Is that possible? Okay. Uh, let's try New Living Translation. NLT. Put it beautifully. The teaching of your word gives light. Hallelujah. The teaching of your word gives light. So even the simple, even those who are void of understanding. Hallelujah. The entrance of thy word. Question. If you pick up your Bible and read, it didn't say the seeing. It didn't say the speaking. It said the entrance. So, how can what you are reading enter you? This is a mystery. He said, if it does not enter you, it cannot give you light. It can be stored as scripture, but it only becomes light if it enters you. The entrance of thy word giveth light. And even understanding to the simple. So what is the revelation behind light? Write it. The first revelation behind light is that light symbolizes supernatural insight into scriptures. Supernatural insight. When God says it's our year of light, that means he's granting us unusual access into scripture insight on common insight opening us up to understand the hidden mysteries the hidden mysteries that are encoded in scripture now you may ask why do we need these mysteries you see because the bible says god made many lights is that true but he made one light to rule so there is a relationship between light and dominion he said he made two great lights and that light although there were many lights the coming of that light enforced its dominion it ruled in the day and ruled in the night so the greater your light the greater you are able to walk in this authority and dominion but since that light comes through the word of god we need insight are you following me now let's see second corinthians 4 verse 6 quickly second corinthians 4 verse 6 2 Corinthians 4 verse 6. If you can give us in NLT or the message, anyone that is available. Hallelujah. Please read it. The message. Very interesting. It started when God said, Light up the darkness and our lives filled up with light as we saw and understood God in the face of Jesus Christ. All bright and beautiful. He said, as we saw and understood. Hallelujah. 
King James says, God who had commanded light to shine out of darkness has shined in our heart to bring to us the knowledge of the glory of God as seen on the face of Jesus Christ. So light connotes insight, depth of insight. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you the truth. We really, really need the light of God. Accurate insight into the word of God. Because Jesus Christ was cautioning the people and he said, Be careful, lest your light be not darkness. That means, be careful so that what you are calling light may not really be darkness. Hallelujah. Luke 11, I believe. Luke 11, 35. Let's look at it. Luke 11, 35. Shiba kabra tu si baladabasha. Just give us an um, amplified. Amplified. Okay. Or you can just leave it. It says, take heed, therefore. Let's start from 34. 34. The light of the body is the eye. Is that true? It says, therefore, when thy eye be single, thy whole body is full of light. But when your eye is evil, your body is full of darkness. 35. It says, be careful, therefore, that the light that's in you is not darkness. There are many people carrying revelations they think is light, but it's darkness. Are you getting me? So God is saying, as you begin to explore the things you are calling light, contend for accurate insight, so that you will not be carrying a revelation that is darkness. Whereas you convince yourself that I have Rema. There, there are all kinds of revelations in the body of Christ. And the Lord is saying, be careful. So that what you keep celebrating because of the flamboyancy, be careful. Let you not be beguiled by darkness. I'm telling you the truth. There are many people carrying darkness around because it sounds good and sounds spiritual. Hallelujah. Because when it is light, it should set people free. It should deliver people. It says, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. So, this is the year to guard your heart with all diligence. And make sure that that which you uphold and absorb in your spirit is light indeed. For the Bible says, it is possible that a man can carry darkness and believe he's holding on to light. Many people have been holding on to dark theologies, dark mindsets, dark philosophies for decades. Many of our family members have held on to teachings that were taught by prophets, apostles, teachers, evangelists. They will not let it go. And the Bible says, be careful so that what you are carrying, if it's a terrible thing when you are holding darkness and you want that darkness to bring light, Hallelujah. Supernatural insight. So that God brings us into light indeed. Hallelujah. It's a very painful thing if after many years you find out that what you've held on to and argued all your life was a lie. Is that true? There are many people who have held on to a lot of things. The baptism in the Holy Spirit for instance. There are so many people who have held on to all of these theologies. There's nothing like that. Deliverance for instance. There are many people who have held on to it. Oh, I'm born again. Everything is all right. But there is darkness in this family. And they will not confront it. No, there's nothing wrong. I'm fine. Until they become acute victims. And the Bible says, be careful. So this is the year when you will edit the things that you have kept in your spirit. And throw out anything that is not consistent with the word of God. No matter how long, it will require humility. Because some of us have argued over darkness for a long time. Hallelujah. Number two. Light connotes understanding and comprehension. It's not enough to know. It's not enough to know. You must understand. Job 32 verse 8. Eli who began to speak. And he said, but there is a spirit in man. He said, and the inspiration of the almighty... It didn't say gives men knowledge. Make it men of understanding. There is a difference between knowledge. 
knowledge tells you what is available it creates awareness understanding guides you on how to apply it accurately i've always used the example knowledge is that when you want to make jollof rice for instance you need rice you need pepper you that's knowledge understanding tells you when to combine what ingredient where because that you have rice and you have this does not mean you can cook many people have knowledge that puffs up the bible says ever learning but never coming to the comprehension so we have so many spiritual laws around us but we do not understand what principles are responsible for what so we just use any kingdom principle when occasion serves us when you are afraid the nearest thing is the blood of jesus or holy ghost fire or, or the anointing of the holy spirit or prayer or agreement all of these things are spiritual keys and you understanding is the ability to gain mastery over the operation the operations of the kingdom it's not enough to know it's not enough to know there is a spirit in man and the breath of the almighty can make what you know become understanding he explains to you he opens it up so that you are not confused what makes a doctor a consultant listen listen almost there are many things that a fresh doctor knows or a consultant knows that the fresh doctor knows but he doesn't have understanding praise the lord when when a consultant is carrying out surgery he doesn't bring a special knife is that true it's the same knife the same everything but there is understanding and this is what many of us need to have understanding understanding so that when you see something happening in your family you are not confused you don't panic you know the exact spiritual law to bring into place this is what spiritual maturity is all about hallelujah i've said it again and again the opposite of fear in my opinion is not faith the opposite of fear is understanding you always fear what you don't understand there's nobody doubting that the chair you are sitting on now can hold your weight is that true anything you truly understand you don't become afraid of it again a pilot can man an airplane a big airplane because he has understanding and he's not afraid that a tiny man can drive hundreds of people thousands of feet above sea level because of understanding hallelujah somebody else can sit on that plane and say i believe we will not die that you were not afraid and you died courageously does not mean are you getting my point now it's not about dying courageously it's about not dying because at that point you are flying people the plane is nose diving and you're saying i know <laughs> we will arrive nobody should be still in this plane you are falling get understanding hallelujah get understanding number three light brings direction and every time there is direction there is an end to confusion direction psalm 119 verse 105 are you getting blessed tonight so that we don't just say light 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 direction the reason why many people run to prophets and apostles and people around is direction people want direction in every area of their life direction people go to herbalists because they want direction what is wrong in our family and what is the way out direction so when god says it's a year of light it means that there is an unusual grace to bring accurate direction to your life hallelujah it says your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path a lamp to my feet a light to my path that means an end comes to confusion because he will begin to let me see the bible says you shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way not these are the ways choose this is the way walk here in it and he said you will find rest for your soul 
Many of us are trusting God. What job to do? Many of us are trusting God. Where to settle down? All kinds of things. Many of us are trusting. Our family members are confused. What business to do? What can I do? Everybody is asking questions. This year, if you believe God, God is saying, I will come to you. You will hear my voice in the night. God will just come and bring direction. Direction that you've been waiting for years. God will say, this is it. Walk in it. Wise men saw the star from the east. And it began, they began to follow that light. Until they arrived at where Jesus was. No confusion. They followed the light. For as long as they kept looking at the light. It kept directing them. Until it settled. May the Lord take the light. And drop where your destiny needs to go. And that you will just follow that light. Into unending levels of blessings and success. Light. Oh how we need direction. How we need direction. Hallelujah. Somebody just gets up and feels like. You want to go to Saminaka. You see there is nothing as terrible. As being in a place where God is not. Because he's not committed to defend you. Hallelujah. Psalm 43 verse 3. Very interesting scripture. Direction. Hallelujah. Where we are today by the grace of God as a ministry. Is a product of divine direction. The ability to hear God. A lot of people say, I can be anywhere and I will succeed. Try it. The Bible says, whatsoever he does prospers. Whatsoever he does prospers because it is directed. I prophesied as I was commanded, not as I wished. As I was commanded. Hallelujah. Oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto your holy hill and unto your tabernacle. Let your light lead me. This must be your prayer. Send your light. Hallelujah. Send your light. Let your light lead me. Hmm. Light means life. L-I-F-E. Connotes life. John 8, 12. If we can have it in the Amplified. John 8, 12. Very powerful scripture. I'm telling you all of the things that are encapsulated in this word light. John 8, 12. Once more, Jesus addressed the crowd. He said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not be walking in darkness, but will have the light which is. There is revelation that you have that will translate into the quality of your life. Are you getting my point? It says that this light this year can bring life to you. They are life to those who find them and health. That means the revelation you get can be what will be responsible for divine health. So that it's no longer an issue of guesswork. Hallelujah. Light. The light you have can put you in command of unbelievable realms of wealth and prosperity and it can add to the quality of your life one department came to meet me and we were interacting with them and my heart broke so much i was talking with them and just asking them their expectations for the year and what they want god to do for their life and family i think almost everyone their, their requests were just or their expectations intimacy with god and financial breakthrough for my family there are many families that need the mercy of God. Is that true? It's easy for everybody to wear suit and come and sit down and laugh. But the Bible says, if you follow me, you will get light that will translate into life. Prosperity is a formula. It's not guesswork. It is specific. It is exact. And this is the year that you will know it for yourself. Hallelujah. As a ministry, we are unapologetic about wealth and prosperity. 
I'm not one of those many preachers that say, no, there's no problem. Just seek God. No. We believe. John Wesley said, any religion that does not cater for the economic well-being of the people is an irresponsible religion. We don't want people coming to worship and bow down and cry only to get up and go into prostitution and armed robbery and occultism because of lack. We don't want to hear that our parents are moving out. Landlords are kicking them out of the house and every kind of thing happening. When you are blessed, it gives you options and you can choose to serve God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are many people who, get, who want to get married. For years they've been trusting God but there's no money. It's a terrible thing. Many of our family members want to do a lot of things. There are many of our family members, our parents are almost 60, 70 years. They cannot boast of one good house. Not even a good car to help them. It's, not, it's, it's an anomaly. But this year we will change it by the power of the light of God. Remember God asked you a question. Can two walk together? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Light also means showing forth. Ah, this is the part I love. Light connotes a display, a revelation, a manifestation, an unveiling. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise, shine. Not because you have entered a new year. Arise, shine because your light has finally arrived. That revelation, amplified please. Can we see it? Isaiah 60 verse 1. Amplified puts it in a beautiful way. Arise from the depression and prostration which circumstances have kept you. It says rise to a new life. This is a prophecy for somebody. He said, arise. This is a prophecy for a family. Arise from the depression, this degradation that circumstances have kept you. He said, rise to a new life. He says, shine. Be radiant with the glory of the Lord. Why? For your light has come. Arise. This is what many of us will be telling our family members. I tell you, this year, this year, some of you will single-handedly go home and just gather your family members and say, salvation has come. What is wrong? What needs to be done in this family? Saviors, the Bible says, shall come out of Zion. It's time, this is the year your Christianity will have practical evidence to your loved ones. Don't blame them for going to Harbour List until you can prove that there is a superior government that reigns on the earth. Don't blame them for going to witch doctors. Are you getting my point? Don't blame them for traveling around. We keep criticizing people rather than contending to deliver what is authentic. Let me tell you something. I showed the welfare department. Yeah, that was the department that came to see me. I showed them a video. Pastor Jakes called me and said, Josh, you need to see an incredible video. I said, really? What's the video? And he showed me the link. I I'm sure some of you have heard it. About a lake that just appeared in the east there was an explosion and the lake just appeared and muddy lake but it seemingly had the power to heal people thousands of people at once they went there no protocol no welfare no suit nobody called apostle people were coming from all over men you can keep criticizing human beings are too desperate to listen to you if you cannot bring the authentic light stop wasting your time are you getting my point? Watch the video and see people almost naked. They were videotaping them. They were bathing in the muddy water. That's because we men of God have failed them. We can stand and brag and make noise. And they will listen to us. Immediately they finish. They will travel and continue. People were cutting the tree. They were cutting the tree in the river just to take home. Paradventure. It will be responsible for healing and prosperity. And all of them, most of the people there said it has to be Jesus. How are you going to tell them this thing is demonic? When they sat down in your assembly for years and nothing happened. Are you getting my point? 
Let me tell you something. People are more desperate than ever. No rema. There was no man of God that came to compare spiritual things with spiritual things. The people were not daft. They came from all over. They were to an extent, brothers and sisters, that they were digging into the ground. And when they saw water, they just fetched it. People made money selling jerry cans, selling suya, selling, you know, the bike people. The bike people, they were interviewed and they were happy. They said, this has to be God. We've never had it this good. They said, do you plan for this water to stop? Say, why? No. Why? This is prosperity. I mean, ah. We are very unapologetic about the fact that it is God's desire to bless you. Prosperity does not take people to hell. It's materialism that takes people to hell. And materialism is not having materials. Materialism is the influence of what you have on your relationship with God. Hallelujah. Lazarus went to heaven with his poverty. Abraham with his prosperity is still in heaven. It was not too much money or lack of money that took them. Many of the requests of our family members, for some of us, the whole request of our family members, what can bring peace in our entire family is not more than 100,000. And then they go to a herbalist and give him 20,000 and it doesn't work. They now go and borrow 50,000 and give him because they are looking for solution. May you be that light this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We arise and shine, our light is come. For the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. We arise and shine, our light is come. See the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Hallelujah. Insight, understanding, direction, life is showing forth. The Bible says that we have been called out of darkness into his marvelous light. We, we should show forth. Comes from the Greek word doxazo, a display. Of the decree of a king's splendor hallelujah it was the custom of kings in ancient times that when they achieved certain feats they will call people to come and celebrate with them this was the case with king ahasuerus and so he brought them to come and see his provinces this year may the lord make you an object of praise that he will use you as a testament of what he can do with a man Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you have all of this, then you can now become the light. You can now become the light. What does it mean to become the light? It means to become a standard. It means it, it, to become a pattern. To become a reference. Hallelujah. That when they are looking for a genuine, authentic Christian, you can be a reference. Matthew 5, from verse 14. 16 Matthew 5 verse 14 to 16 the Bible says you are the light Matthew 5 you are the light of the world the light of this system cosmos you are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden that means whatever has covered your light this year must give way you are a city set on a hill and cannot be hidden. Verse 15. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket. He said, but on a lampstand and it will give light. Because of you, many people, you will be like the ark of Noah that incorporated. There are people who are not even born again, but because of your presence, the, the, the span of your light will cover certain people. There are many of our loved ones that need us. Without us, they may die. And the Bible says it gives life to all who are in the house. Verse 16. Let, permit your light. Let it so shine. Before who? Not before trees. God wants your light. That which he has made you become. 
he wants it to shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven hallelujah so as an individual you will become a standard this year that you will be a portrait of a balanced christian holy prosperous healthy Genesis 24 verse 1. It says, And Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and God had blessed him in all things. All things. All things. This is the year we will contend for every part of our life to look like the image of the Christ. Hallelujah. You must contend. Not that you'll be prosperous and be sickly. Not that you'll be healthy. No, no. Every area of your life let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your heaven, your father in heaven as a ministry this is our prophetic destiny the standard isaiah 49 verse 6 oh i believe this with all my heart oh speak from the heaven and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from your throne. And the earth will hear. Send your word from your throne. And the earth will hear. My altar is calling you. Oh, God. My altar is calling you, oh God. Take my praise, oh God. Take my praise. Lord, my worship is calling you. Oh God, my worship is calling you. Hallelujah. God gave me this specific word. I shared it with the leaders. This is what God is going to be doing with us. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant. This is what we have been doing. To raise up the tribes of Jacob. And to restore the preserved of Israel. But this is the new mandate. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles. It says that thou mayest be my salvation. Not bring it. Be it. You will become a representation of my salvation. Even to the ends of the earth. It says you have been faithful raising people. Training people. Building people. I now measure a thousand cubits and I increase capacity. He said, I will also, in addition to what you are doing, I will give you as a light. I will give you as a light unto the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation to the ends of the earth. This is what God is going to do this year. And then he will bring us through this light into a realm of dominion rulership let me show you one very powerful scripture zechariah 1 21 dominion means absolute control it means rulership sovereign authority the ability to be in charge and to be in control hallelujah This dominion is not just dominion over men but dominion over first the forces of darkness are you getting my point then said I what come this to do amplify it please can we have amplified then said I what are these horns and smiths coming to do and he said, these are the horns or powers that have scattered Judah. Judah means praise. There are horns that have stopped families from laughing. 
there are horns that have kept people down he said so that no man lift up his head there are families and destinies where no man has been able to lift up his head no marriage no joy no prosperity no increase their spiritual lives dead he said but this smith or workmen have come to terrorize them these are the carpenters that god is sending hallelujah it says they have come to terrorize to cause them to be panic stricken to cast out the horns or powers of the nations who lifted up their horns against the land of judah this is the year you will see the practical displacing of satan it will be a contention of light over darkness once and for all the devil will give up over your life and your family please believe it please believe it this is what dominion is all about it's not about being commander-in-chief and telling people come and clean my chair this is foolishness dominion is the ability to be a light hallelujah he said those in nephtha and zebulun have seen a great light a great light has come to them distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on us distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on us so there are horns remember our teaching give me this mountain brothers and sisters upon every mountain there are giants there is a spiritual dimension to this life hallelujah people do not just sit just succeed or or experience breakthroughs and increase but this year by the grace of god we will arise because our light has come and we will compel darkness to bow and all of these horns that have terrorized people and families they will give way one scripture psalm 1110 psalm 110 sorry 110 verse 2 a popular scripture we'll read it together 110 verse 2 let's read it's projected it says the lord shall send the rod what is that rod thy rod and thy staff they comfort me hallelujah that rod is the holy spirit because the holy spirit is the comforter he said the lord will send a dimension of the holy spirit that will open men to light and on account of that he said rule thou not in their absence rule thou in the midst of your enemies many of you your parents have not gone to the village for years because they know when they go they will die you are the one who will go and say let me see the devil rule thou rule thou this is the year you speak to somebody and say in the name of jesus let that barrenness be over and it leaves at once this is the year somebody will come and lie down on your bed and get filled with the holy spirit and just get up born again filled with the holy spirit somebody takes tea in your house and goes back and unending breakthroughs because they just contacted light the bible says the light shines in darkness rule thou the lord will send the rod out of zion see let me tell you your blessing is not authentic until your family members participate in it this selfish christianity of chop alone where it, it the, the kingdom doesn't work that way as for me and my hallelujah i went home and i saw dramatic levels of breakthrough in my house i said that's right this is exactly how it should be hallelujah the devil will be under your feet hallelujah this is why we are teaching because the bible says we should do this 
But Hebrews chapter 2 tells us that we do not yet see all things. Remember our scripture? Let's look at it. Hebrews 2, verse 6 to 8. That's why we need light to enforce our dominion. Hebrews 2. But one in a certain place testified, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man that thou visitest him? Seven. Thou hast made him a little lower than Elohim, and crownest him with glory and honor. Thou didst set him over how many? All the works of your hands. That means nobody can use what was created to do enchantment against me. The Bible says I've been given authority. How can a man use stone or use goat or animal and then make incantations? I pity the man that will call my name in a shrine. This is the year it will catch fire, both the herbalist, the person who brought it. The Bible says Dagon fell. Dagon fell in the Bible. He has given him authority over all the works. All the works. Hallelujah. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all things in subjection under his feet, he left nothing that is not put under him. But this is a dilemma. I said, but now we do not yet see all things. Are you seeing why light is important? Without light, there's no dominion. You can claim it, but it may not work. It says the reality now. So it speaks to us about God's perspective. That this is what has been done. But right now, today, we do not yet see all things under his feet. But when light comes, it will grant us access to rule in the day and to rule in the night. Hallelujah. You believe this? These are the mighty things. That God is going to do. Nigeria. The Lord revealed a few things to me. I'm not a prophet. But God speaks to me. And the Bible says. That which I tell you in the secret place. Declare thou on the mountain top. We need to pray for our government. I saw a lot of political chaos. In fact. A lot of chaos hallelujah we need to pray a lot of chaos we need to pray for the president that his life be preserved hallelujah and then the Lord showed me I saw another terrorist group that is even greater than Goko Haram. Hallelujah. And they will begin to be pronounced again and again. And this is the wickedness that the devil wants to bring. This will not just be Nigeria. Across the entire sub-Saharan Africa. Because it's an agenda. There is only one resistance to all of this. God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I saw so many things. I told you last year. Or in 2007, the Lord told me, if you can remember. I said an economic recession was going to come and hit the world in a very great way. That was when I began to talk of massive kingdom wealth transfer. In 2008, I said, this is the year. And when it happened, I said again that this is the first one. Another one is coming. And the Lord told me this year, the economic recession will hit again for the second time. You can't pray against it. You can only exempt yourself. It's a written judgment. Hallelujah. It's going to happen. Very chaotic. It will humble the government of nations. Hallelujah. It will humble people a lot. Nigeria is going to begin to come to the lamb light, especially in terms of economics. Last year I said that Nigeria was going to lead Africa in terms of economic empowerment. Go and read the newspaper, it has happened. With over about 400 billion or so ahead of South Africa. This is happening. God himself is bringing all of this. And there will be 
such a manifestation of deliverance in Nigeria this year, this thing called deliverance, you will see it in dramatic ways. It will no longer just be in churches because of light and enlightenment. Hallelujah. Deliverance. It will look like an object of mockery, but don't you criticize it because it's the, the preparing ground for the birthing of something powerful. I told you about Ghana, South Africa, and Nigeria. Nigeria is going to, is going to do a lot of mighty, mighty exploits this year. Forget about all the stories that people are saying. God is faithful. Hallelujah. I also see that the Lord revealed to me a number of things. We have to pray against death for many, not families here, but generally in the country. We have to pray against death. Hallelujah. And I saw one of the things that the enemy is doing is infecting people with incurable diseases. This one is no longer just, hallelujah, diseases that medical science may not even be able to detect. You just see people just dying. Hallelujah. I don't know when it will happen, but I'll keep announcing it. I saw the death of somebody who was once a president in this country. Hallelujah. I had seen this two years ago. I was there in a vision. I saw his obituary. And every new year, God keeps reminding me. I honestly don't know when it will happen. But let's watch and see. Hallelujah. And God is going to be doing great things. This year, we will experience levels of financial prosperity. Write it. Write it, please. Write it. I'm not just talking. Write it. It's one of the things God specifically told me. Specifically. If you don't believe it no problem you can believe the other things that we have but yes there will be an avalanche of wealth and prosperity praise the lord we need to pray against death i saw a lot of abu lecturers dying a lot of abu lecturers dying this thing started last year. I began to caution this thing. A lot of ABU lecturers, especially professors. We need to pray because it's a demonic thing. It's not just normal. No. It's a very demonic thing. I saw a lot of academic exploits too this year. A lot of mighty academic exploits. Please believe me. Believe me, recovery, restoration for people, especially people who have been praying. I want us to pray, so I'll just hurry up. I'm just, I don't want to forget anything. Marriages, miracle, mighty, mighty marriages. I saw this one. It was so much, I was surprised. Honestly, I saw marriages, I was scared. Trust me. We will all live to see it. I don't mean here, Koinonia. Mighty, mighty marriages. Yes. How could I have skipped it? I saw a lot of marriages. Including those who did not even plan it. Yes, I saw surprises. Except, except, look, let me tell you, thank God we'll all be alive to see it. You will see people who did not, it was not part of their goal in January, but the hand of God will move. Just leave God to do what he wants to do. It's a year of light and dominion. That's why God said, can two walk together? Listen, listen. And this is the scripture the Lord told me. When Abraham took Isaac for sacrifice, there was no lamb yet. But he said, just go Jehovah Jireh. God will provide. And the Bible says, listen, 
when the obedience of Abraham was tested, he said, just go across, there is a lamb. On the second time, when Jesus needed to enter the city, he said, go to a city called Straight. You will see a coat that no man had ridden on it. Tell them the master has need of it. Believe it. I love saying things before they come to pass. Hallelujah. As a ministry, we will experience levels of expansion and impact. I saw it a lot. Levels of expansion. I saw a lot of people getting blessed from Niger, Niger Republic. I don't know what it is about that place, but I saw so many people from the teachings, Niger Republic. So blessed. I mean, it was a wildfire. It was causing a wildfire, especially among the young people. Hallelujah. So many other miraculous things that the Lord showed me. We will discuss it as we come, as, as the year. Um, another, oh, I remember, I must say it. I saw something that shocked me. Well, let me just say it. Still about prosperity. I was taken in a vision and I remember... I was standing in front of this church this the the equa church and i looked and i saw an array of cars in my mind listen listen in my mind i was saying uh -uh, a lot of cars right from that place down and i was i was i was wondering i said lord what is all this one again this is amazing. This is what you are going to do for families and for people. And many of them will be gifts. It will not be something that someone will buy. Gifts. Gifts. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord. of dramatic manifestations of miracles signs wonders in a scale that will shock you families i saw a lot of unbelievers i saw a lot of muslims coming here i saw a lot of some of our family members that vowed that they will never come here you watch them by themselves you don't need to by themselves the mighty things that God will do. Mighty things. Mighty things. In the rain, in the sun. Hallelujah. These great things that God will do. Hallelujah. Do you believe these things I'm sharing? Hallelujah. God will do this. For the glory of his name. Praise the Lord. I wanted to say it to him personally, but Bishop, I saw you driving a Camry. Write it. Brown Camry. I've been struggling to tell him. God will bring a lot of prosperity, even in the house. You know, we had been planning for just one bus. You will be amazed to see what God will do this year amazed amazed not just because of project 10,000 hallelujah see the Bible says when Jesus was born 
some people saw the light and they started coming with their gifts they came with gold they came with frankincense they came with man and the bible says they started looking for that star nothing would deter them until they found the baby and they began to drop the gift watch out and see dramatic manifestations people would just be sleeping and god would just wake them and say come and bless the house of god come and bless the work of god hallelujah and i saw this spilling over to many families even restoration restoration supernatural restoration hallelujah very quickly so we'll pray a few resolutions that i want you to adopt this year a few resolutions you need to make up your mind on some things it's not enough to shout amen he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecies that have been spoken unto you so when prophecy comes the bible says a virgin will bear a son he never said mary mary made herself available huh the bible tells us someone was going to betray him jesus he never called judas judas aligned with that prophecy prophecy is like rain if you bring a bucket you will get water hallelujah number one you must have a childlike heart of a learner this year 2011 you must increase your passion for insight you must increase your passion and this requires meekness and teachability this is the year you throw away arrogance mog mo whatever just throw it away and humble yourself hallelujah when it was time for jesus to give them bread he said tell the people to sit down on the grass that means if you are too big to sit down no bread for you he said if you are interested in eating bread sit down hallelujah he says one thing is needful Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things but this one thing is needful to sit not to stand and be staring at the master to sit a position that puts you in ancient times when a rabbi was teaching the people sat down nobody would stand and be listening to a rabbi so this is the year that you will sit down you must have a passion in your heart to learn some of you even when you come out to pray the way you are praying we know you are far from god you cannot even construct a good spiritual sentence you just mix everything you just know that this is you know how politicians talk when they come on stage they try to act like they know god but their addictions betray them one of the common thing in any culture is their language hallelujah number two you must have a resolve you must have a determination to apply and live by the revealed truth no matter the price and no matter the temporary challenge you must have a resolve a determination to apply and live by the revealed truths these truths that you are hearing it will not profit you please those outside make sure you are listening if you cannot write anything you can come and meet the media people and they'll give you our messages are free after the meeting apply the things it's not just what you know but what you know what you understand and apply hallelujah apply the truth no matter the price no matter the challenge number three you must have a resolve to place god and his agenda this year above every other pursuit above every other quest and above every other ambition you cannot give god second place this year hallelujah so it's a time for you to go back and search what have you put above god there are many of us you love god you are born again but for sure god is not number one you must make him above all the true proof of love and passion is commitment you cannot claim to love a man or a thing and not be committed doggedly committed and let me use the opportunity to encourage you join a department there are many of you that have been sitting here for one year two years 
you just come and find the place clean and you just start laughing it's not good you don't know how the chairs are clean you don't know who swept what you don't know where they had the rehearsals and and you are full of potential and grace there is a dimension that only kingdom service can take you into this should be the year many of us are afraid of commitment because we know we don't want to be serious with God you don't want a situation where people will probe your life there are many departments make yourself available hallelujah make yourself available huh so just coming to sit inside and sit outside immediately they finish the grace you and your friend you just run away serve the Lord with diligence hallelujah number what now four okay just two more resolve to see the glory of God revealed in every area of your life make up your mind that this year I'm not going to celebrate God in one aspect of my life and then have another aspect staring at me that means you must go and write all the areas of your life I have a series on prosperity coming so I'm going to teach on that but let me give you a preview that there are five areas of your life that you must experience prosperity the word prosperity comes from the word prosper it means to do well first is spiritual prosperity second is mental prosperity if you're a billionaire and you are mad you are not that's that's it doesn't make sense is that true number three is your health number four is your finances and number five is your relationships these five areas you must contend and tell God this year I must have rest round about the glory of the Lord must be revealed in every one of these areas five resolve to enforce order in every area of your life this is very important many of us are so disorganized this is the year you will grow up in Jesus name disorganized in every area of our lives this is the year you bring yourself into a level of decorum have order hallelujah one proof of excellence is order when everything is done decently when everything is done in order order means efficient management of your time your opportunities your resources bring your life under divine order no wasting of time no wasting of resources no wasting of opportunities you must bring your life under divine order hallelujah and finally you must make a determination to spend time with god this year in worship in prayer let seven days not pass let a week not pass that you will not dedicate at least a day in prayer and fasting those who built us spiritually did not teach us that prayer and fasting are part of the tools for efficient spiritual growth. So every time we do it, a lot of people just say, oh, okay, let's fast for 7 days or 21 days or 30 days or 40 days or 100 days or 200 days. And then after that, the people now say, God, I've given you your own share of the year. Leave the other for me. No. Fasting must be part of your life at least once in a year. Or once in a week, sorry. Thursdays are a good time to fast. Can fast on Thursdays. Prepare yourself. If you can't fast full day, at least fast half day. Quality half day. Quality half day. Don't wake up by 10 and, and pray by it. See, you remember the resolutions we are making. Some of you are already laughing. This is the year when you will be serious with God. If you want true spiritual power, spend time with God in fasting. Don't let anybody tell you the era of fasting is over and so on and so forth. No, no. Thursdays, for instance, 6 to 12, 6 to 2, 6 to 4, 6 to 6, as God grants you the ability, very soon it will become part of your life. And then you will see the enormous spiritual capacity. He gave unto one five unto one two unto one one not according to their prayer request according to their ability the capacity they gave him determined what he gave them when the man with five increased capacity he sees it from the person with one and added to him if you enlarge 
when there was no more vessel, the oil stopped flowing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our priority this year as a ministry will be to build, to equip and empower God's people. Even through these meetings, we will keep on doing what we are doing. The hand of God is here. By the grace of God, we trust that this year, God will use this ministry in a very mighty way. Hallelujah. That every week will be a time of an unveiling of deep truths, applicable revelations that you will see transformation in your life. I was praying to God and I was, I think I was discussing with the welfare. I said this year by the grace of God, I plan, I, I, I don't know, I, I, let me not implicate myself here, but I pray that God will help me. Hallelujah. I want to make sure that as much as possible, every Friday I'm around. You see, because my primary assignment is not to the nations around. My primary assignment is to you first. If you are not well fed and I'm around making everybody say Joshua Selman, Koinonia, and my own people are dying here. Reminds me of some of our parents, isn't it? We'll be dying at home and they are donating money in, in foundations and and charities which is good but make sure your own people are well fed you can even add that as part of your goals this year that you will not do anything to anybody outside your family except God instructs that you have not done to the people around hallelujah if you buy chicken for other people then it means that there is chicken in your house if God gives you an instruction, it's okay. But where you just get up and starve the people in your house to feed other people, it doesn't make sense. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We trust God that we will experience healings, deliverance, and restoration and breakthroughs, even through the power of the Holy Spirit. We really want to take advantage of our counselings, our Monday counselings. From this night, officially, we've resumed work our counseling we want to dedicate time to minister to the people our friday programs koinonia school of ministry uh, more announcements will come on that but we plan to take the school of ministry very very serious it's a special time we have to train and build our students our external ministration media ministry and so on and so forth we are doing a lot uh, in koinonia this year and as other instructions come by we will comply accordingly. Hallelujah. Say after me, this is my year of light. It's my year of dominion. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Rise up on your feet. We're going to take some quality time to pray. This is how to establish the prophetic word. We're not rounding up. We're praying. Hallelujah. I want us to take some time to pray. It says, This charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you war a good warfare. What does it mean to war a good warfare in prayer? To say, Lord, I receive. This must be part of my life. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Please, I want you to pray instrumentalist. I hope you're ready. We are going to pray very, very seriously. Very seriously. Lift your voice and begin to thank him for the prophetic word. It's a year of light and dominion. Begin to bless him. Thank you for the word, O God. I believe the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. Make sure you are praying. Outside, everywhere, make sure you are praying. This is between you and God. You are making the word real to you. Lord, is my year of light, my year of insight, increased insight. I thank you for the word. I thank you for the word. I believe the word. I will see it manifest in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. 
supernatural insight into scripture say lord open my eyes this year lift your voice and pray open my eyes oh god show me hidden mysteries let there be an unfailing a revelation of deep kingdom mysteries deep kingdom principles that are responsible for victory for health for prosperity that will empower me to be an ambassador indeed open my eyes the spirit of man is the candle of the lord searching the inward parts of the belly open our eyes oh god that we may behold wondrous things out of your law give me revelation pray paul said for this cause i bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of revelation and understanding the eyes of your understanding being flooded with light that he may know that he may know pray open my eyes oh god open my eyes oh god hallelujah insight that you just pick up your bible and god will show you something that will set you on your feet it will show you something that will open you up to a, another world of grace hallelujah hallelujah listen listen two years or three years ago one time i was praying and the lord showed me a vision and that thing changed my life forever i saw like a big like an ancient door and when i looked at it very well I found out that there were small small doors that made up that big door and when I came closer it, it was like they zoomed me and when I came I found out that on every of those small small doors there were scriptures written on it and the Lord told me that whatever scripture that truly enters you that door is open unto you that means what is possible for some huh? may not be possible for Folake. Are you seeing that? The difference is that the light you are seeing is not sufficient to open that door. But the Bible says, I have set before you an open door. No man can shut it. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. We are going to pray for understanding. It's not enough to have insight. Listen, listen. Take this prayer point seriously. You're going to say, Lord, all the principles that are responsible for the various areas of lifting, show me how they work. Show me how they work. Lift your voice and pray. Show me the keys of wealth, oh God. Show me how to operate it. Show me the keys of the anointing. Show me how to access the fountains of spiritual power. Show me the keys of holiness. Show me the keys of deliverance. Show me the keys that will make me command power even in my family. Make sure you are praying, understanding, and with all you're getting, get understanding. Know how it works. Know how it works. It's not enough to have keys. Know how to apply it for maximum results. Pray, pray. Show me, oh God, the keys. Show me how to operate it. The Bible says they know not, neither do they understand. And so they grow up in darkness, and the earth is out of course. Show me. I tell you, many of you, as you are praying right now, God will begin to give you understanding. Show me the mystery behind the operations of wealth. 
show me the mystery behind the operations of grace show me the mystery what makes the spirit of god become so real to a man show me the secret of church growth the secret of increase the secret of influence the secret of leadership the secret of power the secret of abundance show me oh god the mystery of doing business in deep waters of the spirit show me show me teach me oh god hallelujah 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 we are going to pray isaiah 48 verse 17 can we project that let's see i hope i'm right Everybody read it. You are going to pray and say, Lord, this year, you are going to direct me and my life will experience increase only. He said, I am the Lord that teacheth thee to profit. I can teach you how to do it and lead you in the way that you should go. Lift your voice and pray. Rekoto Sekata. Divine direction. Let the stars shine. Let the morning stars shine, oh God. Lead me to the place of destiny. Lead me to the next level. I'm tired of confusion. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Go ahead and pray. Maritally, give me direction, oh God. I cry for direction. Financially, give me direction, oh God. Academically, lead me, oh God. Let the star arise. And let me follow the star. In terms of my career, lead me, oh God. Rekoto Seketa. Lead me. Show me. In my ministry, show me, oh God. Show me. Give me direction. Pray. Illumination. By light, I am the Lord that teacheth thee to profit and lead you. Show me, show me, show me, oh God, where you want me to be, what you want me to do, who you want me to connect with. Show me, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next prayer point. You are going to pray and say lord let a new dimension of unction let a new dimension of power man to my life this year lord i want to move in the anointing in a level of grace he said and he measured a thousand cubits lift your voice and pray a thousand cubits and he was to my ankle for no man can do these things except God be with him. Pray. My horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn and you will anoint me with fresh oil because thou hast loved righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God, had anointed you. Thou anointed my head with oil my cup run it over pray lord i'm moving in the anointing pray this is the year you do business with the anointing you do your job with the anointing you minister with the anointing you conduct your activities under the influence of a heavy unction 
he says you have an anointing from the Holy One and you know all things pray pray worship team pray we minister with the anointing media pray the anointing takes us to another level pray band, pray we are praying with the anointing Regoto Seketa Koinonia pray this is our year of the anointing inside and outside no matter how far you are let that anointing take you walk in signs wonders, miracles let the sick be healed through your life let breakthroughs let chains be broken let lives be delivered and restored let sinners be saved let the anointing make you a savior let the anointing make you a deliverer hallelujah 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 two more prayer points and we're done please everybody participate we're establishing the prophetic word right now hallelujah listen this next prayer point is very important you're going to pray listen the bible says arise it says shine and the bible says in daniel i believe 12 or 22 or so i can't remember verse 3 it says and they that be wise shall shine like the firmament of the heaven and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars even forevermore listen you are going to pray it's not a selfish prayer don't pray for your neighbor you are praying for yourself you're going to say lord display show what you have put in me this year my god let men see the hand of god go ahead and pray unveil it unlock it oh god in 2014 my year of light i manifest I am a city to my family, in my department, in my faculty, in my place of work, in my place of business. Let there be a showing forth. Show forth, oh God. Show forth prosperity through me. Show forth a healthy Christian through me. Show forth holiness through me show forth breakthrough through me let me become a portrait an epistle show forth manifest oh god manifest oh god hallelujah hallelujah listen listen there are many of us this is the year your destiny help us are so i'm supposed to see you hold on you are going to pray that that veil that has covered that grace of God in you that unction the Bible says there is this treasure there are many of you you have been relegated to the background this is the year this is the year say Lord arise in me come on pray Lord arise let men see you through me yes lord yes lord if you're looking for a vessel i'm available let me be an epitome of the anointing an epitome of wisdom an epitome of wealth and prosperity an epitome of leadership an epitome of power an epitome of revelation pray pray Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters, this prayer is so powerful. There are many of you that have business ideas. 
but nobody knows it's an idea that can bless you and stop hunger in your family but nobody knows when light comes it exposes darkness let me show you a scripture galatians 1 galatians 1 let's just look at that one scripture galatians 1 verse 23 and 24 galatians 1 god wants to walk through you not for pride and arrogance are you getting me i'm not talking of the kind of lifting and influence that takes you to hell But they had heard only that he which persecuted us in time past now preached faith which once he destroyed. 24. Everybody read it. One to read. And what? How did they glorify God? That means when they saw what God did with my life and they said, Lord, is this what you meant when you said you can bless people? Is this what you meant when you said you can use people? Are you ready to pray this prayer again? Lift up your voice. Say, Lord, I'm available. I'm available. Make a spectacle out of my life. Lord, make a spectacle out of Koinonia in 2014. Dr. Sasso, let there be a display of the glory let the nation see we are a city on a hill. They glorified God in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to pray for yourself now and your family. And say, Lord, it's also my year of dominion. Listen, you're going to pray. And say, Lord, I don't just want to chorus this. It must be dominion. Dominion means absolute control. Are you listening to me? Therefore, pray that for you and your family, whatever has mocked God to your face, this is the year it must come under your feet. Lift your voice and pray. Dominion, oh God kingdom authority pray is it finance is it a terminal disease is it lack of breakthrough is it sin your family members are not safe pray get angry in your spirit those outside are you praying those outside are you praying Total dominion. No more fibroid this year. No more getting sick and getting well. No. Pray. No more prosperity today and poverty tomorrow. You will not be on fire today and backslide tomorrow. No. The part of the joss is as a shining light. It shines brighter, brighter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now you're going to pray for Koinonia. We're going to say, Lord, take us to another level take us to another level another level of impact another level of prosperity pair yourselves into three pair yourselves into three those who are lying down or praying just leave them those who cannot stand just leave them i want us to pray seriously hallelujah you're going to say lord lift us up we are not just asking for fame we are asking for impact salvation transformation come on lift your hands and pray let this place become Bethel the place of bread Bethel the place of bread if you love this ministry pray 
The ministry is not Joshua Selman. The ministry is you. Lord, a harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. Transformation, oh God. Drunkards will come here and become apostles. Prostitutes will come and become prophets. Your word is mighty and it prevails in our midst. Your word is mighty and it prevails in our midst. This year we experience character. We experience excellence at another dimension. We experience wealth and prosperity as a ministry at another dimension. Revival, oh God, let there be a fire of revival that will spark from here and spread to the nations and spread to cities and spread to campuses and spread. Pray. Pray for our Friday programs. Pray for the counselings. Pray for all our external ministrations. Pray, pray for the miracle services. Lord, let every service be a miracle service. Beginning from this one, let every service be a miracle service. Let this place become a solution center. Let this place become a place of authentic miracles, authentic signs wonders, breakthroughs, restoration. Let the sick come and be healed. Let blind eyes be healed. Let incurable diseases be cured. Let there be a mantle of healing, of breakthrough, of prosperity. May men come here and have their spiritual lives fired up, fired up. Passion, oh God. Passion, oh God, for the things of the Spirit. This is a place where we infect people with hunger, with passion, with fire for the things of the kingdom. Pray. This is a place of love, no discrimination, no discrimination. This is a place of love. Everyone is special. Everyone is honored. We will not teach error. In this place, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen to me. We're almost rounding up. Listen, please. Inside and outside, everybody, listen. Please. Hallelujah. I want you to know. That in 2014, you are first an ambassador of heaven. Second, you are an ambassador of this ministry. Are you listening to me? That the gentleman who came and testified that he went to preach. I'm not the kind of people that does God of this, God of that. I don't have any. We teach kingdom. We give you a kingdom mindset. Are you listening to me? But because you belong to this structure, you must, there are certain, we have a culture. Are you listening to me? We have a culture. You can come as you are, but you do not remain as you are. Something should happen and change you. Hallelujah. We have core values in this place. Our first core value is love. That's why you don't see anybody. We don't say, come and sit down because your father is the president or your father is the governor. We don't want to know. Where God grants us opportunity to know, we salute you and then that's all. Hallelujah. So you must contribute in letting the love of God the first thing that should be seen in your life is love not power love you can be anointed and not walk in love that means this is the year that you maintain your words the Bible says let your words be seasoned with salt that it may minister grace make up your mind this year no gossiping about people 
no backbiting, no carrying news left, right and center. Your job is to love. If somebody does something, go and talk to him, not about him. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? The love of God. He says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. Not when you raise the dead. When you have love one for another. Hallelujah. There is no doubt that you step on one another's toes. So you must, it must be a predefined thing in your heart that you're going to walk in love. Because the Bible says there remain these three, faith, hope, and love. He said the greatest is love. Hallelujah. So this is the spirit and the culture that you must have. Your conversations must speak love. When you are angry, keep quiet rather than saying nonsense. Hallelujah. The Bible says, he that does not err, if a man err not in words, that man is a perfect man, able to burdle his tongue. Just say anything anyhow. Number two, character. Everybody say character. There are many Christian circles where the men of God are just thinking of power. Let me tell you, anointing can take you far, but it's character that will sustain you. Hallelujah. That's the reason why you can see a ministry rise up. They are anointed and then they fall like a leaf because they lack the character. This must be the year you will contend to manifest a Christ-like life. You don't live a life, a dirty, polluted life somewhere and then the only place they just see you in church and people say, ah, ah, even you. Character. It must not be something you fake. It must be a revelation. And that's the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Character. Every, the entire scope of whatever character means to you. When you do something wrong, tell people I'm sorry. Don't say, Debbie, I'm older than you. When I graduated, you just entered secondary school. No. No. Have respect for people. Don't come with village and tribal and cultural mindsets. I'm from a royal family. In a village, I must sit down before others sit. Keep your, you have been called out of every tribe and tongue. Are you getting my point? Listen, let me tell you something. Many of us here are young people. And we are, we are, this is a training ground. We are training you not just to be anointed people, but to be leaders. So that when you go somewhere, you can speak a right. You have a culture. Don't speak anyhow. Hallelujah. Remember, you are representing Christ. Especially for as many of us outside. Speak like a believer. Always know that the Holy Spirit is in you. Number three, the anointing. You must contend and let the anointing find expression in your life. It's not enough for you to just come and be blessed. You are, are, are an extension of the ministry. Our job here is to equip you and release you with the power of the Holy Spirit. You should go back to your hostels, go back to your workplaces and legislate on behalf of the kingdom. Not to be jumping and shouting and saying, I'm anointed, let everybody in this office bow to me. Demonstrate it. When there is breakthrough, when there is wisdom, when there is character. Hallelujah. Number four, this year, you must adopt excellence as a lifetime. Everybody say excellence. We must keep contending. It's one of the things I told the leaders. And we'll still talk more during our retreat. Hallelujah. Excellence. Excellence is not about an expensive life. Excellence is an organized life. Are you following me now? Excellence from your personal hygiene to everything about your life. There are some of us who are born again, but we are so dirty. You are so dirty. This is the one weakness. This is where the devil is cheating you. This year you must repent. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't just laugh. Excellence. Hallelujah. Your words. Your words. You must pray this year. Those dirty godless films that keep putting satanic dictions. You must get them out of your life. Because you are a man on a mission. Don't say anything and say, this is the slang invoke. This is a kingdom. This is a culture. Hallelujah. Jadel sang and said, this is my culture. You have a culture. Don't go ahead. They, they see you in, in, in the market and you are speaking as if, as if you, are, you are never born again. Even in your joke, joke the word. Speak the word. 
I'm saying this to you because many of you are emotional now. Immediately you step out of here, you almost want to do something. You just remember, ah. Don't do things because of men. Do it because God Almighty is watching you. But much more than that, that he desires to use you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Think before you talk. Don't just say everything. Even what does not concern you. This is how many people put themselves into trouble. You go and choke your mouth into people's businesses and enter their trouble too. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's very, very important. So let this year be different. Say, I'm a light. Say it, I'm a light. No offense, no unforgiveness, no God forbid, no over my dead body. All those demonic languages, pack them and throw them outside. This is a new season. Even when, see, people will mock you, whether in your workplace or your department. Let them mock you until they see what you become. They are only mocking you because they are intimidated by the light that is shining. Hallelujah. When somebody talks against you, bless you. When they think you are coming to divorce them, you say, bless you. I heard what you said. I'm not happy, but I love you. I belong to a government. Are you following me now? Not the year of saying, let me meet with him. I will know him. I asked you from the beginning, can two walk together? So are you ready? See, this is it. If you are ready to walk with God, you will see his hand. But if you, are, if you don't see the hand of God this year, it's not God's fault. For me, I told God, I said, Lord, whatever it takes, I'm ready to walk with you. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you now. I want you to believe it. I want you to believe it. I told God, I said, Lord, I'm more committed than ever before to serve your people. And I'm saying it before everyone. My, my primary assignment, listen, my primary assignment is you. You. Whenever you talk of koinonia, think of yourself. Don't think of Joshua Selman or the leaders in the ministry. No. Hallelujah. Without you, we have no ministry. Hallelujah. And I pray to God. I said, Lord, I'm ready to make sure that all that you have put in me, let your people receive it. Hallelujah. Before we go and we are traveling around and blessing other people, and then you are hearing of the mighty things that God is doing with us in other places, and you are wondering, oh Lord, I'm so close. And I'm not receiving anything. I told God, I said, Lord, if I never go for any ministration, this is why we are opening up the doors for counseling and all of, all of these avenues. We are restructuring the leadership to allow us to have access. In fact, I was talking with somebody and my heart was bleeding. I said, this year I will make sure I have time for the workers. There are many times that many of you want to see me, but because of how busy we are, I told myself, I said, look, not only will I be a leader or have an apostolic ministry this year I want to be a father I don't want people sitting down and dying and then we are there let me tell you even if the whole Nigeria is talking about us and you are not getting blessed we have failed this is what people like Joseph Suleiman will call public success and private failure are you getting my point even if they say this ministry is not being impactful if you are being blessed we are fulfilled because you are our primary assignment and so i'm telling you again on behalf of myself and the leadership of this ministry we are committed we will keep fasting we will keep praying until you become all that god has destined for you to be even before anybody so please and please i want you to relax and know that you are not all of you i'm speaking to everybody even those outside we don't have second class citizens in koinonia are you listening to me we don't have favorites no we love people based on our assignment it will have to make us interact with more people than others but let me tell you something everybody in this ministry has a right to be heard has a right to see me i'm not one superman in myself somewhere are you following me now 
because I know that I need to say this because many of you may have been feeling, I know that there are some of you, I remember one day a lady tried calling me and I just woke up in the night and I decided that the next day I was going to call her. When I picked, I called her, this lady shouted, she could not believe she dropped the phone. You understand? She was surprised. Her pursuit, I think she was telling her mother. For many of you, that's nice. You feel like a celebrity based on God's standard. That is, that is very bad of a leader. I can't promise seeing everybody where you want. Don't wake me when I'm sleeping because I made a commitment to help. I still have my sense, all right? I won't pick your call. Praise God. But then I'm saying there is a system. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, I've made up my mind that we will have special counseling sessions for the workers special just the workers one by one by one one by one you see everybody pray with you if you're not a worker these are some of the things you are missing praise god hallelujah there are privileges that our leaders must receive for instance the heads of department cannot book for counseling it's an insult why will my leaders book for counseling to come and see me you see that so don't be offended if you have to book for counseling. I promise you we'll stay as long as possible to meet your needs. Are you following me now? And some of your family members, if you try to call me and I don't pick, by God's grace we are going to announce, we are strategizing. In fact, there are a few new departments we are creating to make sure that we meet the needs of everybody. That even if it's a text you send, you will be responded to. So just cooperate with us. We are improving. This year will be better than last year in Jesus' name. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. You too, you must be ready to cooperate. Look at me. I've said my own part. What I'm committed to do to you, you must be committed. Your own part of commitment is don't frustrate our sacrifice. Receive what we are teaching. Let it not enter one ear and go out there. Put it to work. Hallelujah. And be evangelist. Say, do the work of an evangelist. Invite people not just people who are not serious people who really 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 need help and need god father in the name of jesus we thank you for 2014 please make sure you lift your hands especially those outside i'm watching i bless you in the name of jesus i bless you with the blessings of heaven i bless you with the presence of god I bless you with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you that even as you begun in this space, you will sustain this space to the end of the year. I rebuke death. We will not mourn the death of anybody this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, any covenant that anyone has with death, anywhere they have said they must bury you this year, we cancel that report now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that the scepter of dominion come upon your hand. That as you leave this place, you will begin to reproduce what you are seeing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the doors of wealth be opened unto you. Let the doors of influence be opened up to you. I pray that this year, your prayer life will enter another dimension. Your word life will enter another dimension. I pray that the spirit of true holiness will come upon you this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that the Lord will make your feet like hinds feet. That you will run and overtake everyone that has gone ahead of you. I pray for you that before you pray this year. Before you even make mention of it, may the Lord answer you. May the Lord hear you in the day of trouble. I pray for your businesses. I command them to prosper. I command them to flourish. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord grant you the desires of your heart. I pray that the anointings and the graces God has put upon this ministry, let them find expression in your life everywhere you go this year you are favored you are favored favored with god favored with men in the name of jesus all those who have planned to put you down they are the ones who will celebrate your lifting this year 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I command that you are preserved you enjoy the ministry of angels and I pray for you that this gift of God that is in you that not even you will be able to hide it this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ let those who need what you carry look for you you will not look for them this year I compel them to look for you in the name of Jesus Christ may the mighty hand of God go with you I pray for you wisdom exams is starting when on Monday lift your hands I pray whether you're writing exams or not lift your hands whether you're a student or not you can connect for people it's a corporate anointing here I pray for you especially for final year students any power that says you must come back to this school we cancel it right now for those of you who need the mercy of God to graduate we command that mercy right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ every lecturer that has vowed to keep you must let you go this time around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray for you supernatural intelligence let a mantle of intelligence come upon you I prophesy upon you pursue overtake recover all everything though some of you are trusting God to enter to two to enter to one and this is the last exam that will determine it I pray like Samson may the hand of God come upon you and may you do wonders I bless your exams this is the best exam you have ever written in the name of Jesus your papers will not be missing in the name of Jesus in one minute I'd like you to pray violently say Lord now is my time now is my time in one minute I'd like you to pray inside and outside now is my time Lord do not pass me by I can't go back with this terminal disease my marital destiny must open up my ministerial destiny must open up that barrenness must leave my life Pray. Pray. The Lord is in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I see the angels of the Lord. And every time the Lord opens my eyes to begin to see his angels it's time for deliverance and emancipation whatever has held you bound it's time for it to answer to the anointing it will answer tonight it will answer tonight Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to challenge principalities and powers. Spiritual forces of wickedness. 
Listen. 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 The devil that is behind the predicaments of your life will be exposed and destroyed tonight. Are you listening to me? Let your faith be open. Because I see the angels of the Lord with swords of fire. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands, everybody, inside and outside. I'm about to pray. I'm about to pray. We have been raised up with Christ and made to sit above thrones, dominion, and every name that is named not only in this world but in the world to come hallelujah oh my god the power of god is amazing in this place please ushers get set when you have the people let them come to front now we are going to shout the name of jesus once i like you to shout it with all your heart the moment that happens i tell you it's like a tornado the fire of God will sweep across this building. Inside and outside, there will be massive deliverance, especially outside. All the people, let me have them here. Are you ready now? That name. Demons bow at that name. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One, two, three. Satan be lost every demon every demon come out come out be exposed we expose principalities powers shake it outside the fire of God is falling outside. Shake it, 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 outside. The fire of God. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Altars of darkness be set on fire. Be set on fire. Set on fire, be set on fire. Peto Sekete, lift up your heads, oh ye gates. Lift up your heads, oh ye gates. Lift up your heads, oh ye gates. Outside, Shakata, so break it, take it. Every demon power holding anyone captive, release them. Shakata da 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 da. Shakata da 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 da. Outside the fire of God, there are angels moving with swords of fire outside. I expose the powers of darkness. Every spirit. Be cast out. Come out. Come out. Hear my voice. Hallelujah. Those outside alone, lift your hands. Your destiny must change tonight. Those outside, at the count of three, I like you to shout the name of Jesus. At the count of three, those outside. Because there are many of you that need massive deliverance. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Are you ready, those outside? One, two, three. Let the power of the Holy Ghost move outside. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall like the dew of heaven. 
Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall. 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 Shake Rekete, Rekoposote, Rebeke Torikete, Rekoto Soso Koto, Reke Pariata Pariata Telebo, Man Prekoto Sepe Revenebo. Shake Preke de Venerebos. The power of God is still falling. Bring her here. You are going now. You are going now. You are going now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost on you. Come out now. Go out now. Out. Leave her. Let her go. Go. Now. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Shekata bareke talikaba. Zendepra kalibratu kaprosa. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring them, please. The power of God is still falling on people. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bring her. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Out of her right now. Out. Go out. Go out. The mighty name of Jesus. You are going now. Ketata rekata sezeke parita ramboso preketa liaraba rakapros kosopate le krete kariata ratariata batapros kataliara bende bros kosoto tobari karia karabash kebregere balaraba the fire of God from your head to your toe let the fire consume you right now right now. The power of God is still falling on people. You will not escape. You will not escape. The angels of God are moving around the crowd. Bring that lady. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at my eyes. I see you in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ do you know this lady has been under heavy demonic influence nothing is moving in her life now you just think the problem of this lady what she needs is counseling this is not counseling this is not about counseling the power of God is still falling on people the works of darkness will be exposed and you will see the way your life will begin to move This is where light and darkness meets. One must bow. Hold on. Do you know what happened to this lady? And this is a warning to many of you. Sometimes when these demon spirits are under fire, they leave but they wait. You go back into the things you used to do, they will re-enter. When a spirit is li leaves a man, the Bible says, it goes through. This is why deliverance without a thorough 
growth and the teaching of the word is only a waste. Hallelujah. I want you to learn something. Watch this. The Bible says handkerchiefs and aprons. Nothing special about this. I just want to teach you. Especially for our students, school of ministry. Watch what will happen. This is an ordinary handkerchief. What makes it extraordinary? The anointing of the Holy Spirit. The anointing. Watch this. This is a lady under the influence of demons. She's not even looking at me. Leave her alone. Just leave her. Just leave her. You don't need to touch her. The anointing is upon her. Just watch what will happen. Go, go, leave her right now. You are a wicked spirit. The mighty name of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Out of her now. Out of her right now. There's still one more person outside. Bring her. There's still one more person outside. Come out of her right now. Devil of darkness. Out. One more person outside. All those in front here, yeah, we have to hurry up. Didn't know time had gone. All those in front here, yeah, I'm going to count three. Yeah, I'm here. One person outside. In fact, two, not just one, two. Two outside. Two outside. Two outside. Violently under the influence of demons. Because I saw the angels of the Lord gathered around that person. Oh, salvation has come to this family. There's one more person outside. No escaping. Hallelujah. Yeah. I've seen the all right. That's the person. Now at the count of 3 Bring this lady. We will shout for your glory. Look at me. Look at me. The mighty name of Jesus. Look at me. Your time is over in this body. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Come out of her right now. Come out. Come out. Come out right now. We will shout for your glory. Out. Go. Go. 
You are going. Hallelujah. <laughs> See how demon spirits can be powerful. Look at how many people are trying to handle one person. This is somebody that this guy alone will lift. You are going in the name of Jesus. This is Koinonia. Jesus is Lord here. Bring the lady. Okay. You go and wait there. Just leave her. She will obey. Bring this lady. Come. Bring her. Bring her. Bring her. For light and darkness cannot stand. Your time is over. He makes his angels. L listen to what he's saying. Did you hear what he's saying? This is how you just sit down. One day you just hear that somebody just died. They say, how can I lie, Shiria? No, take the mic. We don't have all of that time. We are trying to do other things. Come out of her right now. Come out. Come out right now. Come out in the name of Jesus. That's how you see one day this innocent lady will just something. Accident or one kind of thing that has no head and tail. Come out in the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. This is what happens in the realm of the spirit when you pray in tongues. You have the opportunity to see it now. Come out. You are bound. Rebuked. You are going. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is against you. You are going out of her now. Come out. Come out. Fire against you. Fire in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out right now. Out of her. Out of her right now. Leave her. She can't hold me. She can't touch me. Don't worry. It's the fire. She will touch fire. No matter how mad a madman is, he can't hold fire. Out. Out. In the mighty name of Jesus. With a loud shout, you are going. Go. You must go. I set you free now. No hiding. No hiding. I set you free. Hey, ushers. Ushers. Leave her. All of you leave her. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Just leave her alone. Leave her alone. You will not cross that building. You will come back. Just leave her alone. You will not cross that building. You will come back. Just leave her alone. Leave her alone. Let her cross. You will see the demonstration of power tonight. Paul said, when I came to you, I didn't come. Just, just leave her alone. She can't go out. No. There are angels that back up the words of... Leave her. No usher should hold her. No usher should hold her. She will come back here by the force of the Holy Ghost. No usher should hold her. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. The light shines in the darkness. Just leave her alone. She will run and come by the power of the Holy Ghost. There is an agency of the Spirit 
that compels things to happen. Oh, she will come. She will come. It's by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever it takes. That's how powerful the word of God is. How all inspiring are your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. You don't need to cover her she will move the influence of the holy spirit will drag her to the front here the influence she will run under the power of the holy ghost is under the power many of you don't know who the holy ghost is the holy ghost is not an angel the holy ghost is god hallelujah 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 don't worry <laughs> you will see wonders tonight the demonstration of spirit that word will not return back until she comes this is how this is what happens when you pray when you speak words god is showing you this is called signs and wonders they are supposed to encourage you you are not just watching movie hallelujah please we have to hurry up there are many other things to do peptic ulcer lift your hands peptic ulcer peptic ulcer you will see how powerless satan is just leave her she must come Peptic ulcer inside and outside. Lift your hands. It's time for you to be healed. Peptic ulcer. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I command peptic ulcer. Go. Go. In the mighty name of Jesus. Peptic ulcer. Be healed. Now check yourselves. Check yourselves. Listen. Bring this lady. Sister, look at me. As we worship you, let all the world come and see how the mercy we receive from you can set men free. As we worship you, let all this joy that fills our heart bring a hunger and a hope to those. As we bow in adoration and stand in reverence, show your majesty and glory as your anointing fall. As we declare your name, Lord Jesus, as the only name who saves, let the power of your salvation fill each heart we pray hallelujah now hallelujah there is a lady one of your ear is not working properly one of your ear is not working it's like water or something it started happening a while ago please who is that person come out quickly 
Hallelujah. Now, I want to rebuke every kind of lump. Every kind of lump. Breast, lump in your breast, your neck, wherever. Is the lady here? Come. Where is, which is the ear? This one. You believe God can heal? You believe he will heal? Of course he will. Everybody watch a miracle. The power that is in the name of the resurrected Christ. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. That devil of darkness. Go! Close the one that is walking. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yes, sir. Can you hear with that one? Yes. Could you hear with it like this before? No, sir. Look at this. Look at a miracle. Right here, one ear just open. Look at me. Who knows you with this condition? Your brother. Is he here? Is he here? Call him. Because I know there are all kinds of cynical people who are here. And think that is stage one. If you can act this kind of drama, come and act it. Where is who was the name of your brother? Victor, where are you? Run out. Victor, your sister has this problem. Now talk to her. Ask him. Say anything. Fine. She couldn't hear with one ear. Look at the miracle. Rejoice. God bless you, my dear. I get it by it. Don't let them go. Uh -uh. I get it by it. Hold on. I'm seeing a cat. A cat. Come out. Come out. This is what I'm seeing. They are just trying to make it look like they are go gone so that you quietly walk back. This is a cat I'm seeing. It's, I'm not even seeing a human being. I'm seeing a cat. Look at the. You see the way she's positioned? It's not normal. Now in the name of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. All over your body now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shata kata. Rekete pareketa. Shopeketa. Mareketa. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Come out. Thou devil. A cat. Come out. Go, go, go. You are going right now. In the name of Jesus, go. Jesus name. Hallelujah. Now, all those, listen. All those who are outside Zaria, who came with sick people, please come forward quickly. Outside Zaria, please, if you are in Zaria, we'll minister to you. All those outside Zaria who are sick, find your way to the front now quickly. Please, let's save time. Let's save time. Whether inside or outside, you are sick or you came with a sick person outside Zaria, come quickly. Please, quick, 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 save time. Jesus is in this place doing wonders. Where are you coming from, my dear? Come. Kaduna South. You are coming from Kaduna South. Who is this? My elder sister Shazu. The devil says he's going to kill her by the September this year. They said they will kill her by September. Yes, sir. Hold it first. Hallelujah. Please come quickly. HIV, get ready. You came here with any HIV virus, get set to wait. Bye bye. It's going to go. Mama? Who brought Mama? Please, if you came with any... Who, who brought Mama? What's wrong with her? Uh, she's tormented with dead spirit. With what? Dead spirit. Dead spirit? Yes, for how, good five years. How do you... What, I don't, I, do I understand what you say? Spirit of death? Dead. How do you know a spirit of death? Because she died? She has gone to several places. Oh, that's what they said. Physician. Does she speak English or how shall, which one? Yes. How, how Mama? Uh, Interpreter. Selena. Please come quickly, quickly. Let's save time. 
Tell her to narrate to us what is what's her problem. Truly, this is the spirit of death. Look at this. Look at how wicked the devil is. What is he saying? Tell her the Lord will heal her totally. The Lord will heal her right now. No, come. I'll be. I'll pray for her in English. You tell her in house so that she can believe and receive. Tell her to give me her hands, Mama. Can help her. Help her with this thing she's holding, please. What is this? Wait. Tell her to stand up. What's that, Goro? Oh, her leg is paining her. What is this? Who gave her? Native doctor? Is, is it a native doctor? She bought it. Eh, from where now? What is it for? Eh? What's this? Let's pray for her. Tell her the Lord will heal her right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, thou devil of darkness, spirit of death, go out of this woman right now. Tell her she'll feel something moving around her leg to her chest. In the name of Jesus, let that fire run through your body and set you free. Tell her her legs will be strong now. And the sickness will leave. I bring you life and I set you free. Stand up. Tell her to stand up. Tell her to stand up. Tell her, let's walk. Tell her to follow me. Mama. So kibini. So kibini muje. So. How is she feeling now? Ya kike jeng. I see him in the news. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. The Lord perfects her in the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Who brought you? You came by yourself? Ah uh, please, you won't allow a little girl come like this without him. Please next time if you are bringing somebody, let's know. What come come sweetheart, look at me. You speak English? How are you? What's wrong with you? It's my stomach. Your stomach? What's wrong with your stomach? It's paining, it's paining you. Since when? Since on Saturday. Since on Saturday. You love Jesus. You believe he'll heal you. Yes. All right. Say after me, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your healing. Say, Jesus, Jesus. I believe in your power. I believe in you. All right. Watch what happens to you now. Out. Name of Jesus, she's free. Look at me. Please give. What's wrong? I have a dislocation. Dislocation? In my thoracic lumbar spine. I use a lumbar corset. We need to start. You know, I said this doctor's thing. I think we need volunteer doctors. Eh? Who is a doctor, or at least in 500 level? Or 600 level for God's sake. Okay, Holy Spirit, help us. You said you have a dislocation where? In my thoracic lumbar spine due to an thoracic accident. lumbar spine is part of the body. That's the most important thing. Where is it, my dear? No, 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 no. You don't need to open it. Okay. Do you believe Jesus will heal you right now? Do you believe it? What couldn't you do before? Like when what? I give me one example. Said, Just give me one. Okay. At times, if you are healed now, uh, when I don't use the lumbar corset, 
I feel you pain. have a lumbar corset right now? Yes, on my body. Wait, without the lumbar corset, you cannot move. I can move, but I feel pain. But you feel pain. Yes. That devil is a liar. Amen. Huh? Are you ready to remove the lumbar corset? Oh my God. You are a doctor or a brother? Eh? 600 level. Are ah, you a doctor now? What will stop you from graduating? Come, Jarissa. So explain to us what does this really happen? Okay, she what, says why, she uh, has a dislocation. Lumbar on, what? On the thoracolumbar uh, spine. The thoracolumbar spine are the vertebras. That's the thoracic and the lumbar vertebras. Okay. Along the spinal cord. So if there's a dislocation there, it, what does it do? Any dislocation there. Why will, didn't you study medicine? Leave it alone. Any, All right. Any dislocation there will make her one not to bend properly. Okay. It might also make her not to walk properly. But she's using a lumbar corset now. Okay, she's using a corset. That corset is used to also correct the dislocation. Okay. That is that is medically using. Okay. Yeah, How long does it take to correct medically? Um, it could take three months. Okay. Or sometimes six months. Okay. Almost two years. You have been using for almost two years. That devil is a liar. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, you feel the power of God go through your body now. You sense something flowing through your body. The mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. Look at me, sister. What's happening to you? What do you feel happening to you? Do you feel anything happening to you? Your heel, remove it. Can you remove it? Not here. You can't remove it. You are afraid. I can't remove it here. Oh. Oh, you have to go inside. Like, why not? A female, we didn't mean do it here. A female, oh, female, if you're a male, go out of that place. Remove it and come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What am I seeing with the eyes? There's somebody you are not seeing well. You are not seeing well with your eyes. Hey, God help us. Your eyes. If it, your only, it's a serious problem. This is not the only person. Your eyes. You? What's this? My sister. She's afflicted with um, undiagnosable disease. Undiagnosable disease. Yes, she has lumps all over her body and now she Where has she? lost her sight. She's outside Zaire. I'm studying a girl for her. Holy Lord, restore her vision right now. Perfectly in the name of Jesus. Come and stand quickly. Who and who is not seen well? Since when? 2006. Please come and stand here quickly. We are, we are, 2006. 2000 and what? Six. Remove your glasses. All of you lay your hands on your eyes. The power of God will come upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Partial or total blindness be gone. Be gone right now. Every spirit responsible. You will live by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, put down your hands, check yourself, check yourself, check yourself, any improvement, check yourself, check yourself, any improvement, yes. what couldn't you see before? You couldn't see far. You couldn't see far. Like where? It's still blood. You are seeing well now? It's still blood. It's still blood. What of you? You can see the time now. What is the time? Five minutes past nine. Sister, come. The lady with the lumbar corset. Follow me. Let's walk. Let's walk. Come. Let's walk. Bring the corset. Lift it up. Come. That devil is a liar. How do you feel here? Do you feel any improvement? Talk. Let's go. Come. Walk as fast as you can. Could you bend down before? Try bending down now. Just bend down. Up. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Up. Come. Come up. 
Can you can you try jumping? Do this. Look at this. Something's moving. Something's changing. Look at look at this. This is a miracle. Something's moving. This is what she brought that she was using. That devil is a liar. Something's moving. Sees glory. Sister, you are healed and healed forever. That devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. My dear, could you see this time before? Okay, look at me. Come. Look at the time. What is the time? Nine minutes past nine. Ten minutes past nine. Could you see that before? No, sir. Absolute healing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What again? Look at that. There is. Okay, well, you've seen the time. Aha, uh -huh. there's a writing there. Can you try to read it? That writing. Try. I can see my. Uh huh. You can't see it very well. Okay, don't worry about the ones that are written in cursive. Can you see the one down? Am I taller than you? Come, come up. All right, see it now. Let me see what you can read. One to read. Just try to read. Don't don't be afraid. Don't worry. We'll pray for you again and again. I can see mine. Uh -huh. I can see why my May, my month of possessing divine something, something. Let me pray for you. Look at me. Come out of her. You are a spirit. Out. Out. You are going. You can't stand. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost correcting her eyes. In the name of Jesus. Let us stand up and check. Okay, let me pray for you very quickly. Anyone with HIV inside or outside, please come out quickly. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. HIV, quickly. HIV, please come. We have to hurry up because the ministers must come up. We, there are lots of things we need to do. HIV, please don't be ashamed. This is a family. Nobody knows you. Come and take your healing and go back. Okay, yeah. You can stand for somebody too. Go. We didn't say you are the one who has the AIDS. You can stand for somebody. Abba. Whenever you come for Koinonia, listen, let me tell you something. Don't just come. This is a family. This is not a church. Please, HIV, quickly. Either you have HIV or you are standing for someone. It doesn't matter. Quickly, HIV, HIV. Eh? Two of you, come, come quickly. Lay your hands on your eyes. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus. HIV, whether for yourself, I'm not going to ask you. It doesn't matter. Please. This is past nine. We have to rush. Because everybody here must go back with a testimony in the name of Jesus. Now, I'm going to lay hands on you. Whether you have it or you are standing in for someone, it doesn't matter. Ask them to go back and go for a check. For a check up. HIV be healed now. Be healed 
now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. HIV, go. You have the devil, go. HIV, be gone. Be gone. Make sure you go for your test. Be gone. Go, go. Go. Come, 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 come. Come, come out of her. Come out of her. Out of her right now. Come out of her. Come out of her right now. Go. Be gone in the name of Jesus. HIV be gone for yourself and for the people you are standing for. Come, sweetheart. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Shabaka Taratariada. Rekate Balakoso Pregedibash. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Go! 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 Leave it right now in the name of Jesus. Be free. Be gone right now. matter what your sickness is please come out right now we'll minister with the ministers you're sick you came here with any sickness please come out no matter where you are just come just come just come outside or inside come and stand quickly please please hurry up just spread yourselves around no matter how many you are we will wait no matter how many this is a miracle service just line yourself line yourself pastor jakes bishop Pastor Williams, please go back quickly, 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 everybody. If there is no space, stand. We must pray for you. And go back to the way you used to be. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Even if you are at Second Equa, still come. Don't let the devil stop you. We came here for you. If there is no space, stand there. As they are praying for others, if you are here, go back to your seat. If you are outside, ushers help them. They take this role. Listen, listen. As hands come on you, while you are here, be praying. Are you listening to me? The moment hands are laid on you, some of you demons will come out. Some of you, you will be healed. When that happens, as you walk back to your seat, Check yourself. Sorry, we don't have time to be taking testimonies. The time is not enough. Hallelujah. One day we'll try and make miracle service a night vigil in Jesus' name. So that we can have time to minister. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for you. Hallelujah. We have the one-time president of FCS before in our midst, Pastor Kenny. Please celebrate him. Sir, please, you can come and join us. Hallelujah can come and join us as we pray hallelujah please spread yourselves don't just come and say it's me you want to talk it doesn't matter who touches you i tell you while you are here if i were you don't just stand watching uh -uh. say lord this is it oh this is it i came for my healing i came for my deliverance and that must happen in the name of jesus christ worshipers are you ready please let the atmosphere be charged those of you who are sitting make sure you are praying and connect you may not be sick in your body but there are areas of your life just be patient and let us minister in jesus name sir go 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 in the name of jesus your healing comes whoever you're standing for is done in jesus name as we pray
pray for you. Please just go back. It's the power of God. Heal. Heal. Lumps will disappear. Lumps will disappear. Lumps will disappear. Lumps will disappear. Jesus. Shataka Baladabakaria. Go. You are healed. Let the river flow. Let the Go. river flow. Let the river Go. Be healed. And refresh my soul. Come out. Come out. Come out. Fire upon you. Let the river flow. The fire of the Holy Ghost is in this place. Be healed. It doesn't matter what the sickness is. Fire. Sheka Karia. So peleta. So peleta. Shaka Karia. And refresh my soul. Shaka Tawala Dabash. Lord, let the river flow. Heal. Mommy, that I pray for you. Heal and water of life. Let the river flow. 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 I want to say healing. Don't let the river flow. Let the river flow. Healing water of life. Let the river flow. Check your face. In my death, miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. An angel is carrying the waters. Revive the river flow. Revive the river flow. Don't be discouraged, those outside. Come in, come in, come in. Don't let the devil stop you. Flow, live in the water. Healed in the name of Jesus. Flow, live in the water. Healed in the name of Jesus. As blood we know, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Flow, live in. Low living water. Come out. Shaka talabari. The water of life. The water of life. The water of life. Come out. We are just laying hands. Everything are you listening to me? Miracles are happening. Everything for some of you, you are coming for sickness. But it's beyond sickness. What is happening to you? For me. Out. Everything Come out. Fire change. upon you. Fire upon Nothing you. Nothing is the same. Everything has changed.
Come out. Come out. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out. Fire upon you right now. Fire upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are going from your feet to your hair. Fire upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Come out. 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 out of her right now. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Take your sickness and go. In the name of Jesus. Deliverances are happening here. Miracles are happening. Don't worry, the fire of God is on her. I'm still with you. Everything has changed. Nothing is the same. Everything has changed. For me. Come out, come out, come out. Everything has changed. Nothing is the same. Everything has changed. Everything has changed. Everything has changed. Everything has changed. The devil, cause and sickness have been fighting. Everything has changed. Nothing is the same. Come, come, come. Those of you there, please come, come, find your way. There's an up space in the front. Everything has changed. In the name of Jesus. Everything. Be healed. Out of him. Come out of him. Everything. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out of him. Out. Fire on you. Everything. Fire on you. Fire on you. Fire on you. Will sing no other name, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. My heart will sing, my heart will sing no other Heal. name. Whatever the Jesus. No other name. I say Jesus. We call you Jesus. I say my heart will sing. No other name. Jesus. Jesus. My heart will sing.
Come out of her. This is where light stands against darkness. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Come out of her. saved find a way at the sound of your great name out come out go go out at the sound yeah, of your great name come out come out enemy he has to flee hey. at the sound yeah, of your great name seek a kill and dead are come out come out come out your destiny must open up come out come out Jesus, worthy is the land that was slain, slain for us. Come. God of God and man, you are I lifted up. Oh, the one who saved the great Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! He made her to break her hand. This evil spirit. That hand is getting healed. Come out. 
Come out. Go. Go. free right now just leave her Don't touch her. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. 
Come out of her now in the name of Jesus. What kind of noisy demons? These days, demons are becoming so noisy. Go, go. Huh? Come for Koinonia. The demons are even making noise more than the people. Ah, this is my lady. Look at, since, because we didn't release this girl, she has been lying down here. Can you imagine? Ah, ah. Sister, you will remain here. <laughs> free in Jesus name you are free this is a man I'm seeing this is not a woman this is a man you want to hold my shoes hold it hold it hold it don't worry hold it they are shoes of fire don't worry just hold it it will burn you for nothing. Don't worry. He makes his angels, spirits, and his ministers. Everything you touch is fire. It burns you. The other person I'm looking for. Come back now. Now it will burn you. This fire will burn you. You don't know what you are. Look at this lady is arming herself for nothing. Come back. Why did you hold my legs? She can't cross. Don't worry. There are angels. She will come back with the same speed she went under the influence of the spirit. It's time for you to go. In the name of Jesus. Don't worry, everybody. We are going to pray. Just be patient. Everyone, just leave her alone. She will come. It's the force of the Holy Ghost. It will pick her from where she is and she will come. The same thing happened to this lady. This is not trial and error. This is the spirit at work. This is not about displaying jamboree. No, we are very serious people. Just leave her. She can't stand up from here. Remove ushers. Don't worry. Leave her. Leave her. She can't stand up. She will not be able to stand up from here. Stand up if you can. Just stand up if you can. If you can stand up, stand up. We have to hurry up. This thing's waste. Just leave her. Leave her. She can't stand up. No. Impossible. Did you bring your prayer requests? Prayer request. Everybody pass your prayer request to the person at the last, at the end. Please, let's hurry up quickly. Come back here. Come back here. Just leave her. Come, come and stand here. Now come and stand here. Come and stand here. Please pass your prayer request quickly. Come out now. Come out of her. Pass, pass your prayer request. 
Please hurry up, pass your prayer request. In the presence of angels, with God's glory on the wings, like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy, 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 holy. You are holy, holy, holy. Please, everybody, stand up. Stand up, please, inside and outside. Ushers, hurry up, please. If you have not written those on Facebook and those on the internet, all those streaming online, please, they can be part of it. We have a God that answers prayers. Please hurry up, hurry up, ushers. If you've not written, just scramble it quickly. Please, one minute. You can see that we're out of time. Honestly, the time is, is just not enough. But God is faithful. God will still do what he will do. Sister, it's time to sleep. It's time to sleep. Quickly, 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 please. glorious outside are there ushers helping out who is here to a miracle walk. you are a miracle walker God is a glorious God. God is you are a, a miracle, miracle walker. please quickly God quickly is You are a glorious God. God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. Now, the revelation behind writing prayer requests, listen please, and bringing it here. The Bible says in the days of Hezekiah, that they wrote a letter there was a situation that threatened him and the bible says he took it to the temple before the altar and he laid it before god and told god what it was and god solved the problem so that's the spiritual revelation behind what you are doing hallelujah let me invite the minister sir we have a god that answers prayers pastor sir as we pray on this, I'd like you to stretch your hands. If you are outside, just stretch your hands to the screen. If you are outside, stretch your hands to the screen. We have received countless testimonies. Please, ushers, if there are still people, very quickly, very quickly. Those online, let them know that we are with them in the spirit. Everyone begin to pray in tongues. Everyone begin to pray in tongues. Shebrekete kalabara da 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 ba. Shabrata kalabara da ba da da ba. Rakata prakata ba da da ba. Shabrata kata prakata prakata. 
Lord, solve problems, break burdens in the name of Jesus upon this altar. We present this before you. Turn these prayer points to testimonies, O oh God. Lord, move on behalf of your people from all over the nations and online. There are people trusting you for miracles. Lord Jesus, honor these requests by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let there be miracles, oh God, for the sake of your son Jesus. You have made this place a place of sign and wonders. Father, in the name of Jesus, we call for miracle jobs. We cause doors to be open in the name of Jesus. Amen. We bring healing and deliverance to families. Let there be financial breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Amen. We call for health in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every high blood pressure case goes down. Those that trust in God to heal the needs of their loved ones, their mothers specifically. The Lord touches them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord brings a breakthrough in your academics in the name of Jesus. For every prayer point here, the breath of God goes upon it in the name of Jesus. We release healings from the four corners of the earth. Breakthroughs and blessings. Miracles, miracles, miracles. Let the windows of heaven be opened in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory in the name of Jesus. We pray. Give Jesus praise for this request. Everybody stand up as I prophesy to you. Hallelujah. Please. The Bible says, can these bones live again? He said, only down the west. I tell you, in this whole miracle service, this is the part that I love best. Where we begin, because this is where the creative power of God moves in like an arrow to just meet situations. Hallelujah. As I make these prophetic declarations under the anointing, I like you to shout amen. Amen means let it be so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Those outside, make sure you participate. All of you lift your hands above your head. Say, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Lord, I come as only one sent. With no ability of myself. I command right now every door that is closed over your destiny let it be opened right now be open right now be open right now be open right now be open right now Every closed door, I command it be open right now. Every situation in your life that is more than your ability, you have prayed, you have fasted tonight in the name of Jesus. I command those mountains. Be level right now. Be level right now. Be level right now. Be level right now. Every yoke of bondage over any family here. I'm speaking to families right now. Because I see ancient doors with chains. Right now, 
every chain over every family wherever they are in the name of Jesus chains be broken 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 hallelujah every yoke and every cause of poverty oh you need to lift your hands for this over your life your loved ones and your family every chain of financial bondage under this anointing tonight that yoke be broken in the name of Jesus financial doors open financial doors open financial doors open doors of contracts doors of opportunities doors of breakthrough doors of breakthrough financial doors no power will stop you no demon will stop it hallelujah can I prophesy to students here lift your hands every curse every ordinance he told Job he said in six things shall you be delivered yes seven things one of it is the scorching of the tongues every curse of mental blockage the power of God will fall on a lot of people on this every cause shatter -ta -ta -ta. be free be free be free I release you from academic prisons come out of academic prisons come out of academic prisons come out come out come out the cause of carryovers the cause of carryovers let it be broken now let it be broken now Higher. I tell you mighty things are happening inside and outside all those long overdue for admission whatever is holding you shatter I cause it right now in the name of Jesus final year students do we have final year students here In the name that is above all names every Pharaoh that said you will not graduate this night I prophesy to you these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever we graduate you in this place we change policies in faculties in departments emergency meetings be held for your sake let causes be waived in the name of Jesus anyone script that is missing in this place any missing script the Bible says and the donkey of Kish the father of Saul was missing the Bible says the prophet told Saul he said go back for the ass has been found I prophesy to you that script be found now let the angels of restoration go to every department every faculty
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Elijah told Ahas, Saddle your ass and run, for I hear my spirit, the sound of the abundance of rain. And the Bible says, Elijah Ahas had gone ahead of Elijah. Elijah seemed to be retrogressing, and then he kept praying. The Bible says, Suddenly, the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He guarded his loins and used his feet. I command right now, Shata Kata. You will run like Elijah. Let the hand of God come upon you in 2013. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. Restoration. Restoration. Advancement. Restoration. Advancement. Hallelujah. There is a plot of darkness. Listen. Over vessels that carry the anointing of God. The rate at which anointed men are compromising on spiritual things. From immorality to all kinds of case of scandal. Especially immorality. This is an ongoing plot. Because every time you represent something to the body. The devil will try to make you a victim of your message. Right now I pray. And the sons of Issachar had an understanding of the times. This is a plot. Some of you are already falling victims of it. You carry ladies to your room and you are laughing. You are just sitting there. You are dressing loosely and carelessly. They are also dressing loosely and carelessly. And you are laughing. You don't know it's a plot to throw you. He says she has cast down many. Yea, mighty men have been thrown by her. He said, her ways are the ways of death. Lift your hands. That spirit that wants to throw mighty men, I put a seal of the blood upon you. It will pass over you. I command that devil of immorality and for married people, adultery and unfaithfulness. I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of genuine holiness return to the body. He said, for who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand? Listen, young men, let me warn you. Be careful. Any man can fall at any level. Don't let the devil deceive you. Some of you are already becoming careless with your life because of little anointing here don't let any mentor or father or anybody deceive you you must maintain a heart of inadequacy before god the moment you sense that every time i go to god i cry i say lord is it is there seed of lust in my life or i don't say i'm an apostle or man of god if let me tell you the bible says he who hides his sins will not prosper Many of you don't know the reason why some people rise in anointing. Later, they just keep quiet. It always starts in the secret. But whatever is happening in the secret will not stand for too long. It must speak. Samson slept with Delilah. Who knew? But one day his eyes came out and it was a sign. I pray. I pray. Some of you who have been taught messages that are not consistent... I'm not condemning your church but there is a plot to dethrone mighty men mighty men are falling like chickens we do not condemn them but you must be warned are you listening to me say in the name of Jesus I receive the spirit of holiness the spirit of purity I mortify my body Shatakapa as an instrument of righteousness. Sin cannot have power over my body. Every habit in this place masturbation, pornography. What again? Reading 
useless magazines that don't have the word of God don't say it does not matter let me tell you ungodly music that does not carry the presence of God right now in the name of Jesus that appetite I take it out of your life forever I take it out of your life forever ladies only ladies lift your hands any guy who is already in your life or is about to come to your life and is a plot of darkness to rob you of your prophetic death bring that lady because that's our problem that's the spirit speaking bring that lady right now in the name of Jesus I break that relationship from the realm of the spirit that guy will leave this girl I break it from the realm of the spirit I break it right now from the realm of the spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus out <laughs> out in the name of Jesus go go hallelujah I want to pray for favor lift your hands some of you have struggled you have done all you know to do I tell you listen favor is one of the anointings God has blessed us with in this ministry you don't need to you don't need to have eyes to see that what is happening is the favor of God I want to release it upon you father higher shata kapa Lord are these not your people have you not brought them to favor them right now let the oil of favor from this building right to the end outside let the anointing for favor move across this building now move across this building now take it take it Take it, take it. The favor anointing, shake it, take a lie. Be distinguished. I place a mark upon you. Be distinguished. Now look at me. Lift your hands. Every cycle of late marriages, lift your hands, please. Because that's why some of you are here. There's no need to be ashamed. There are some of you that are supposed to be married. Every cycle. Especially for those of you who is not only you. Look at me. Look at me. Come here. Come and sit down here. Leave her. Leave her alone. Come now. Come and sit down here. Just leave her alone. Come and sit down right here and be quiet. You will do it right now. Are tired of unnecessary noise leave her she will come and sit down hallelujah lift your hands please we have to hurry up it's past 10. i command right now every voice that is speaking against the marital destiny of people here you are beautiful but no man will come to ask you out you are responsible right now be broken be broken be broken I command marriages receive it supernatural marriages before the end of 2013 for you and your loved ones I establish it in the realm of the spirit now I pray against accidents I put a mark of protection upon you no demon power will be able to cause you to die either from accident sickness or any act of terrorism in the name of Jesus
any armed robber or assassin coming to your house or your parents house they will die before they get there any property that has been stolen in your house or in your life i command it to be returned i command it to be returned i command it to be returned everything that has killed your prayer life lift your hands this is where the whole problem starts from everything that has destroyed your world life the passion for the things of the spirit right now that dry bone from the realm of the spirit oh this will come like an impartation my god i pray like a winnowing fork that is uprooting evil i rekindle the fire upon every altar prayer fire prayer fire prayer fire prayer fire what fire what fire what fire what fire prayer fire hallelujah now i want to impart the gift of the spirit please lift your hands for the gift of the spirit are given to profit with her this will be the final thing i'll do and then we'll take the altar call gifts of the spirit some of you came here especially those who are pastors who came here you mustn't see me to receive on behalf of yourself and your ministries look up it takes humility for the glory of god to grow in your life the anointing can be charismatic it can be attractive but you need to be humble i'm going to pray lift your hands i'm just going to pray in tongues for one minute and there will be a mighty demonstration of the spirit you will need to remove receive it please you will need to receive it i would like to hear the sound of the symbol as i begin i'll just pray in tongues and different if god leaves me i'll mention them but please those outside it will come like a mighty wave this is where the holy ghost finds expression lift your hands Shake it, take it, baba, baba, baba. Shop, break it, eh? Sako, toto, reke, te, reke, rebe, seke, rieta. Mareko, so seke, rebo, so priata. Masaka, tele, koriata. So, 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 ke, te, 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 Gifts of healing, take it. Prophetic gifts, take it. Take it. Word of knowledge, take it. Take it. Word of wisdom, take it. Gift of faith, let it fall on you. Gift of faith. Gift of faith. Descending of spirits. Gifts of administration and leadership. Receive it, receive it. Administration, leadership, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. The working of miracles, the working of miracles, take it, take it, take it. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory. Now, look at me. All of you have seen the things that God is doing in this place. You have experienced the hand of God in a mighty and an unusual way 
Look at me. There are many of you tonight. God is calling you. Listen. Inside and outside. Some of you have never taken God seriously. He can change your life. You don't have to continue living the way you are. Hallelujah. You have seen what God can do. You can see that Satan is the one behind these things. I'm going to make an altar call right now. There are many of you outside. You came either because you were invited or you were told you would come and see the demonstration of the spirit. But the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him many of you have journeyed tonight find rest jesus is calling if you've never given your heart to the lord or you have once given your heart to the lord but you backslid because of the cares of the life of this life we show you love tonight please everybody stand this is the greatest miracle i'm going to count one to ten i want you to run no matter how far you are outside please don't let anybody stop you inside here i like you to run and come and kneel down here I'll just count one to ten. Please don't stay back. One. Start running. Clap for them, everybody. Start running. I didn't say walk. Run. 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 Come and kneel down here. Two. Don't sit back. Three. Thank you. Young and old. Run and come. Four. Run to Jesus. Five. Six. That devil is a liar. Don't wait till ten is counted. No matter how far you are outside, you can run. Don't be ashamed. Seven. Don't lose this opportunity because of your friends. There are some of you seated outside. God wants to give you a new life. My brother, my sister. Eight. There are two more counts and we are out. Nine. Ten. Hallelujah. Now all of you here, thank you for not being ashamed. This is a family. Lift both of your hands high to Jesus Christ. In a way you will never forget. Say this after me. This is not a special number. It's the prayer. The greatest prayer. I want you to shout it. Let the devil hear you say it. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I accept that I'm a sinner. Unable to help myself. But today, I come to you with an open heart. I ask you to forgive me. Cleanse me with your blood. Give me a new beginning. I denounce sin and Satan. I declare, according to your word, that I'm born again. Jesus is Lord of my life. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. The power of sin, the power of Satan is broken in my life from today forward ever backward never in the name of jesus can you celebrate them everybody please look at me thank you so much for making this brilliant decision daddy you can put down your hands up thank you for this decision this is the best decision you would have made now we are going to follow you up get you filled with the holy spirit and teach you certain foundational truths hallelujah you're going to have a special meeting with Pastor Jakes. Sir, when? Okay. On Sunday, hallelujah. Pastor Jakes will not be around tomorrow. He's ministering in the conference. So, Sunday. What time, sir? Four. 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 Please, Sunday, four on the dot. Just be around chapel. Just close to the chapel books stand there. And Pastor Jakes will come. And he will talk with you. Hallelujah. Thank you for this great decision. Please follow the ushers. They will have your details and you will be back. Celebrate them everybody.
I'm sorry, we are so out of time. Now, you're worshipping with us for the first time. Please, all of you, come in and come and stand here. We have a prayer for you. We are rounding up. This is your first time, Koinonia. Give them a big, big God bless you. We love you. God brought you. No matter where you are, please let me pray for you. Give me the opportunity to speak over your life. Quickly, 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 please. There are so many people. Koinonia, keep clapping. Thank you for coming. Keep coming. Thank you, mommy. Keep coming. Koinonia, are you seeing what God is doing here? Bring them. Bring them. Come. Please come. Quickly. I have a prayer for you. Don't go without receiving it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. The Lord brought you by his spirit. This is Koinonia. Meeting put together by Eternity Network International. Hallelujah. We are here every Friday celebrating the awesome things that God is doing. How many of you were blessed tonight? I assure you, you will never be the same. Never. You will go back. Your priorities will change. Your values will change. Your passions will change. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for you. Everyone in this house is anointed. And I tell you, as we speak over your life, receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we pray over them. Prophesy over their lives. We call you blessed in the name of Jesus. The Lord gives you testimonies. You will go back and meet open doors. We bless you with a hunger for the Holy Spirit. A hunger for the word of God. A hunger for the life of prayer. We command financial breakthroughs. We command breakthroughs on all sides. The devil has no power over your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We bless you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for coming. We'd like to see you again and again. We pray that the Lord will bless you. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.